Have you ever wondered why colon cancer rates are on the rise, not just among the older population, but increasingly in younger people as well? Let's unravel this concerning trend that demands our attention. Stick around because by the end of this video, you'll be armed with essential knowledge about the most critical colon cancer symptoms that you should never ignore. Did you know that colon cancer is the third most commonly diagnosed and the second most fatal type of cancer? But what makes the fight against this disease even more complex? Here's the twist, there's a whole industry around it, fueled by money, confusing ads, and info that often leaves us scratching our heads. Here's a big myth buster, it's not all in your genes. Sure, having a family history plays a small part, like 5 to 10% small. But guess what? It's not the whole story. It's more about the choices we make every day. And here's a sneak peek into modern research, it's pointing towards the impact of what we eat and how we live in preventing and even reversing this disease. All right, let's get down to business. Colon cancer, what's the deal? You might be wondering, how do you know if you have colon cancer? What are the early signs, and how can you catch it early? We'll explore these questions and shed light on the crucial role of a colonoscopy in early detection. And those tricky intestinal polyps, how do you keep them from going rogue and turning into cancer? Stick around, we've got the answers. Plus, the big question, can you fend off this sneaky cancer naturally? Forget what you thought you knew, because colon cancer often flies under the radar, starting as a tiny, harmless polyp. It lurks, undetected for years, causing no fuss. But here's the deal, if you're over 45 or 50, or if cancer runs in the family, a colonoscopy might be your secret weapon. Using a colonoscopy, we can see, identify, and eliminate polyps. The symptoms usually vary based on how big the tumor is and where it's situated. So what exactly are intestinal polyps? Well, these are usually small, benign tumors that hang like tiny appendages from the walls of our intestines. Most of the time, they don't show any symptoms. The best way to spot them is through a colonoscopy, a procedure that not only lets us see the polyp but also allows for its removal and sends it to a lab for analysis to determine if it's harmless or potentially malignant. However, here's the twist, a small percentage of these seemingly harmless polyps can turn into cancer over time. So, what influences this transformation? It's a mix of our genetic makeup and our lifestyle choices. Unlike the old belief that our genes are set in stone, modern research suggests otherwise. What we eat, from our grocery choices to how we prepare our meals, plays a crucial role in our health. On the flip side, poor dietary decisions and unhealthy habits can rev up the activity of these same genes. Simply put, this could speed up the growth of a polyp, eventually turning it into a tumor over time. So if you are ready to dive deeper into the world of colon health, Please watch our previous video on top 10 foods that could be your secret weapons against colon polyps and cancer. And now let's talk about colon cancer on the right versus left side. Did you know that the location of the tumor influences its visibility? Colon cancer growing on the right side of the intestine can be elusive, and here is why. Colon cancer on the right side of the intestine can be elusive due to the digestive process in this area. Unlike the left side where feces are solid, the right side has liquid waste. In the early stages, the liquid nature allows waste to pass through, making it challenging for a tumor to obstruct the intestine unless it's advanced or metastasized. This lack of early symptoms can lead to delayed diagnosis, sometimes for years. Here's a tip to catch cancer early, tumors tend to grow haphazardly, causing them to bleed. The tricky part is, that this bleeding is invisible. One way to detect it early is by checking stool samples for hidden blood. Send a sample to the lab for analysis. While colonoscopies are also effective, be aware of warning signs. Persistent bleeding can lead to iron deficiency anemia. If you're around 45 or 50 and notice paleness along with anemia, it's worth getting checked for an intestinal tumor. Sometimes, stool may appear darker due to slightly heavier bleeding. Now, let's talk about some common symptoms. One noticeable change might be in your bowel habits. If your routine involves daily or every two to three days bathroom visits, but you've recently become more constipated, going without bowel movements for one or two weeks, it's something to pay attention to. The shape of your stool may also change, becoming thinner as it passes through the intestine. Alternatively, you might experience episodes of diarrhea alternating with periods of constipation. Persistent chronic diarrhea could prompt doctors to consider a colonoscopy to check for potential intestinal tumors. As a tumor advances, it becomes visible on an X-ray, resembling a bitten apple. This image shows a narrowing of the intestinal lumen due to the tumor, 
causing difficulty for feces to pass through and leading to bleeding. Unlike hidden bleeding in earlier stages, the blood in advanced cases is often bright red and visible. The stool may also appear darker due to the presence of blood, similar to right-sided colon cancer. Advanced cancer symptoms may include abdominal pain from gas buildup due to obstruction, abdominal swelling, weight loss, fatigue, and chronic tiredness. These symptoms can also manifest in internal organs, such as liver pain from metastasis or shortness of breath if the lungs are affected. If you want to explore more about early cancer warning signs and symptoms, head over to my previous video. What factors increase the risk of colon cancer and speed up the transformation of a polyp into cancer? There are several contributors, including ultra-processed foods, items like sausages, salami, ham, and other highly processed red meats, along with bad fats, excessive vegetable oils, excluding olive oil and a few others, sugar, and excessive sodium can act as fuel for tumor growth. It's worth noting that ultra-processed foods have been officially recognized as carcinogenic for some time now. Difficulty in regular bowel movements can be a contributing factor. Poor or inadequate intestinal flora, microbiota, the balance of bacteria in our intestines plays a role in colon health. Ongoing inflammation in the body can contribute to the development of cancer. Lifestyle choices like alcohol consumption and smoking are also known to be carcinogenic. Being aware of and addressing these risk factors can be crucial in reducing the likelihood of developing colon cancer. So can you fend off this sneaky cancer naturally? Prevent colon cancer. Adopting a healthy lifestyle and making informed choices can contribute to preventing colon cancer. Here are some natural strategies to help reduce the risk of colon cancer. Include a variety of colorful fruits and vegetables in your daily diet. These foods are rich in antioxidants and essential nutrients. Consume an adequate amount of fiber from whole grains, legumes, and vegetables to promote digestive health. Include foods with anti-inflammatory properties, such as turmeric, ginger, garlic, and fatty fish rich in omega-3 fatty acids. Choose healthy fats like those found in avocados, nuts, seeds, and fatty fish. Omega-3 fatty acids, in particular, are beneficial for overall health. Stay well hydrated by drinking plenty of water. Water is essential for maintaining healthy digestion and preventing constipation. Engage in regular physical activity. Exercise has been linked to a lower risk of colon cancer and promotes overall health. Remember, while these lifestyle choices can contribute to reducing the risk of colon cancer, it's important to consult with healthcare professionals for personalized advice, especially if you have specific health concerns or a family history of cancer. And if you would like to discover the powerful foods that can take on those rogue cancer cells. Well, we've got the perfect video for you. The best foods that fight cancer. Head over to our previous video after watching this one. And finally, we'll demystify the colonoscopy, a powerful tool for early detection. What is it, and who should get one? Let's break it down. A colonoscopy is a medical procedure aimed at catching colon cancer early. Here's what happens, a long tube with a camera on the end is gently inserted into the intestine through the anal region. This camera explores the entire length of the intestine, keeping an eye out for any irregularities like polyps, tumors, or lesions. If any polyps are found, they're removed and sent to a lab to check if they're harmless or potentially harmful. To make sure you're comfortable throughout, the procedure is done with sedation or mild anesthesia. Most patients don't feel any pain and often don't even remember the process. Typically, it's recommended for everyone to start these screenings around age 45 or 50. But if cancer runs in your family, your doctor might suggest starting earlier. Usually, you won't need another colonoscopy for about 10 years, unless your doctor suggests otherwise. While the procedure is generally safe, like any medical intervention, there are minimal risks, such as slight bleeding or a rare injury to the intestinal wall, occurring in just one or two out of every thousand procedures. Timely identification is crucial. While adopting a healthy lifestyle can play a role in lowering the risk of colon cancer, it's essential to seek personalized guidance from healthcare professionals. This is especially important if you have particular health worries or a family history of cancer. We hope you found this video informative and empowering. If you have any thoughts or experiences to share, drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your loved ones. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.